himself as Ivan Sanderson would in some of his letters. And Keel very much stuck to the point that he was trying to get across as far as, uh, as I, I told the other day, um, one funny time that I was with Keel and J- James Mosley in the, we were in the, I think it was a holiday in the kind of lobby out front. And they were the kind of two older guys and I was this very young 24, 25 year old and, and they said, oh, we're going to go off to the strip club. <laughs> I, I've never been in a strip club, and I certainly wasn't even with these two grand dams of, uh, of you know, ufology back then. I wasn't going to go off to that. <laughs> but that's about the most personal that I ever saw Keel. Uh. He was, and, you know, James Mosley told me the other day they never went. They just talked about it. So, uh, and, of course, you know, Mosley's very out being gay, and so it probably wouldn't have interested him in the same way that interested <laughs> Keel. Hmm, indeed. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, um, Mr. Lauren Coleman, thank you so much for joining us on your birthday to sure. talk about uh, the works and life of John Alva Keel. Um, I really appreciate you. Folks can go to laurencoleman.com, copycateffect.blogspot.com, and cryptomundo.com and find all of uh, Mr. Coleman's wonderful works uh, that deal with the same areas that John Keel dealt with and much, much more. Thank you for joining us. This is Smiles Lewis signing off. Bye, Lauren. Bye, Smiles.